What is a novel? It is an instrument which is given as a security or collateral for another instrument. So, it's an instrument. An instrument of collateral giving a security. Given as security. So, how is that? That is just like a mortgage. Example, Jose buys goods from Pedro and tries to issue a check in payment of the price. So, Jose buys goods from Pedro. So, in payment, he did not, Jose paid through check, not cash. However, Pedro does not believe in the credit or solvency of Jose. Pedro is in doubt. So, Jose asked Ramon to issue his own check covering the amount of the price of the goods. Pedro receives the check of Jose in payment of the price but with the check of Ramon as a security. So, that's good. We're in... Um, the seller will is in doubt of receiving a check from the buyer. So this buyer is asking a check from a third person. Using the check of that third person, it will be used to pay the seller. So the check used by that third person or the check used uh, the check of Ramon or by that person is considered a security. So therefore, that is an aval. The aval. The check of Ramon is a is an aval. So here the the legal effect is that Pedro has no right to use the check of Ramon. Again. The seller here is Pedro. So, Pedro receives the check from Ramon. So, Pedro has no right to use the check of Ramon unless and until there is something wrong with the check of Jose. In other words, Pedro should use first the check of Jose. If the check of Jose is good, Pedro cannot use the check of Ramon because obviously, it, it was already paid. The check of Jose is good. So, therefore, paid already. Jose is already paid. So, so therefore, um, the seller here or Pedro cannot anymore use the check or cannot use anymore the aval of Ramon. However, should the check of Jose be dishonored, bounced by the drawy bank from non-payment, it is time that Pedro can use or resort to the check of Ramon. In this case, the check of Ramon serves as an aval. Ah, okay. So, as a general rule, Pedro has no right to use the check of Ramon. Ramon here is a third person. Pedro here is the seller. The buyer here is Jose. So, as a general rule, Pedro has no right to use the check of Ramon unless until he used the uh, unless until there is something wrong with the check of Jose. So again, Jose has no right to, to use the check of Ramon. He needs to use the check of Jose. If the check of Jose is good or the check of the buyer is good, then therefore quits. There is already perfected contract of sale but if there is problem with the check of Jose that's the time he will be using the check of Ramon so the check of Ramon is an aval problem upon the insistence of Carlos who did not believe in the credit of Santos again upon the insistence of Carlos Carlos here is insisting that he is not believing in the credit of Santos, whose check alone is not acceptable to Carlos. So, Carlos is not accepting the check issued by Santos. Ramon sent separately three parts of a set of bill of exchange to Carlos, who endorsed and delivered said parts to three persons. 
again Ramon here issued or sent um, separately to three persons oh, se sent separately three parts of a set of bill of exchange to Carlos three separate parts sent it to Carlos three separate part of a bill of exchange and Carlos endorsed and delivered said parts to three persons so Santos issued a check to Carlos in payment of certain goods in case of the this the three in case of dishonor of the three bills of exchange and after due notice is Ramon liable for the same again let's first Carlos is insisting that he is not believing on the credit of Santos. So therefore, Ramon, a third person, sent three separately parts of a bill of exchange to Carlos. And subsequently, Carlos endorsed and delivered the said three parts to the three persons. From Ramon to Carlos and Carlos to the three persons. So this time, Santos issued a check to Carlos in payment of goods. So what if in case of this honor of these three bills of exchange of Ramon after due notice, is Ramon liable for the same? The answer is, in favor of Carlos, Ramon incurs no liability. Okay, when in, in favor of Carlos, Ramon incurs no liability at this point. Ramon issued three parts of bill of exchange to Carlos as aval, yes, to secure the payment of the price of or the goods. Carlos should have used the check of Santos first before using the three parts of the bill of exchange, these being the security for the check of Santos. Only when the check of Santos is dishonored by the drawy bank has Carlos the right to use one part of the bill of exchange issued by Ramon. With respect to the three persons to whom Carlos endorsed and delivered the three parts of the bill of exchange separately, Ramon is liable to each of them for each part. Said three persons being holders in due course, this is without prejudice to Rom, uh, this is without prejudice to Ramon's right to reimbursement for all three parts of the bill of exchange from Carlos. So how is that very long? Let's simplify. In this situation, Carlos first must use the check of Santos. He must use Carlos must use first the check of Santos because Carlos here is the seller and then Santos here is the buyer so Santos must pay Carlos since Santos paid Carlos in check but Carlos is not in what you call this is not sure with the solvency of Santos so he asked uh, a security of he asked a check from a third person that is already Ramon. The aval. The check of Ramon is an aval to the contract between Carlos and Santos. So, Ramon has no liability to Carlos. Has no liability to Carlos. He has no liability to Carlos. Diba? As a general rule, Carlos first must use the check issued by Santos. Except um, when there is dishonor of check issued by Santos. So, again, as a general rule, Carlos must use the check issued by Santos. In case of dishonor of that check, that's the time Carlos can use the check issued by Ramon. So, Ramon has no incurring liability against Carlos. Yes? No. Ramon issued only three parts of three set, three parts of the bill of exchange to Carlos as an aval. Yes, that's an aval. The Ramon 
e, uh, Ramon issued three parts of bill of exchange to Carlos is an aval as a security of payment for the price of goods. So, with respect to the three persons to whom Carlos endorsed and delivered the three checks of part of bill of exchange separately, Ramon now is liable to each of them for each part. Said three persons being holders in due course. So, Ramon has no liability against Carlos, but Ramon has liability with these three persons to whom Carlos endorsed and delivered the three parts of Bill of Exchange separately. This is for being why why, why Ramon becomes liable to these three persons because these three, these three persons are already considered as um, they call this holder in due course. This is without prejudice to Ramon's right to reimbursement for all three parts of bill of exchange from Carlos. So, since Ramon is liable to these three person, Ramon can claim reimbursement from Carlos. Again, Ramon has no liability against Carlos, but Ramon has liability to those three persons who receive um, the recipient of three parts of bill of exchange. But Ramon here can ask reimbursement from Carlos. So that is, um, this kind of process is some, is, can be found in negotiable instruments. Allonge. Allonge. What is an allonge? It is a piece of paper that is attached permanently to an instrument. It's a piece of paper that is attached, attached permanently to an instrument for the purpose of accommodating or allowing additional endorsements. It's attached permanently to an instrument for the purpose. The purpose of this allonge is to accommodate or allowing um, additional endorsements. The majority rule is that an allonge is allowed only when the back portion of the instrument is already filled up with endorsements. The attachment of additional piece of paper must be with a sense of permanency. A mere pin or a paper clip will not suffice. The additional piece of paper must be at least pasted there too. So, uh, additional paper attached to an instrument is an allonge with the purpose of accommodating or additional endorsements. That's allonge. Next, 